Let's have a little chat about the future. With the recent November 18th North America launch of the Wii U, we've now officially entered the 8th generation, generation of home video game console devices, devices that play pretty much the same games at this point. The age of exclusives is gone, except on Nintendo's side. You've got Halo for Microsoft, Sony with its uh, ragtag group of rebels who are now trying to duke it out in the Smash Brothers. Uh, well, some have called it an improvement. Some people actually prefer All-Stars Battle Royal, but that's for a different video. What we want to talk about today is where we're going from here. Now, I know I'm not the first one to point out the striking similarities between Sega's ill-fated Dreamcast and the new Wii U system, but they're there. Launching is almost a .5 generation, not really a true leap forward, but still ahead of the competitors. Anyway, rumors are that this next Xbox, or next box 720, whatever you choose to call it, will pretty much be a Kinect 2.0, or at the very least they'll try to integrate the device on some level and use that as a selling point. Or maybe they'll upgrade the Kinect and simply continue to ship the base 360 and try to hope that Kinect extends its lifespan until around 2015. Which brings me to Sony, who I believe are going to wait and see just exactly how successful a tablet controller is, and then apply their fledgling... and I, I, I use the nicest word I can, their fledgling, it's growing, give it time, folks, uh, PlayStation Vita handheld, which, in my opinion, could just as easily become a tablet controller for the PlayStation 3, and that's a pretty good marketing campaign, right? I mean, the Wii U tablet, you can only go maybe across the room. The Vita, you can take your console experience with you. Will people shell out for that? I don't know exactly. But they are shelling out 250 to 300 US dollars for a Wii U when, you know, if they lower the price point on the Vita at some point, which, I mean, come on, I don't think they're going to do that unless they have drastically reduced build quality or cut features, which they might, then maybe people looking at a future where they don't get a new console that isn't the Wii U until 2015 would just buy a Vita to get the tablet controller experience for their PlayStation? I don't know. It sounds stupid and it sounds like a money sink, but so did the PlayStation move, and it was, and it is. It's also worth noting that Microsoft is already exploring this direction pretty hard with its new Surface tablet and the whole smart glass thing. They're already way ahead of it on that. Tablet controllers are already going to become kind of a thing, so you can definitely expect Sony to follow suit, and I bet you they'd rather do it with the hardware they already have than create an entirely new one. Because, unlike Microsoft, Sony has no particular in-route into the personal computing market. Hell, they don't even have much of an in-route into the electronics market anymore, thanks to cheaper competitors who pretty much do the same thing. Good game, Sony, but it's not the late 90s anymore. Speaking of which, you, you remember that? You guys remember, like, 1997 when the Sony Walkman was the highest grade shit? If you had a Panasonic, you had a knockoff. These days, it's not the case. Now, the worst thing Sony could do, in my opinion, is go ahead and just release a PlayStation 4 anyway. There were rumors about that recently. I don't know if that was confirmed fake or not. There was one story from one source that was dubious at best and got repeated and passed around the internet, and then I haven't heard anything about it since. So, if somebody has the actual details on a PlayStation 4 development kit, then by all means, go ahead and comment, video, re reply, do something to one-up me because I don't know. But what I'm getting at here is that we have a .5 jump in generation with the Wii U, similar to the Dreamcast, I'd say. And then we have Xbox, which may not even upgrade to a new console. I mean, they will. But rumors do point to it being basically a Kinect 2.0 and only marginally more powerful than the Wii U, which is disappointing. And if PlayStation decides to really ride it out until 2015 and simply swaps in Vita as a controller to try to compete with the Wii U, there may not be another console war right now. It might just be a continuation. Round 2. The real question is, is that such a bad thing? I know a lot of people are very tired of this console generation, and they feel like consoles are holding back PCs, and that is a perfectly valid complaint. But really, you have to think about the developers, the rising development cost of video games. If Microsoft and Sony over-engineer their next installments, and basically force developers to put millions of dollars into the most basic game, they're going to ask for ridiculous sales in return. And you know what you're going to see as a result of that? Exactly what you see now. Paid DLC. Yearly redos that end up selling millions of copies in their first day. Sound familiar, anybody? It just happened a little while ago with Black Ops 2. I believe it sold more than any media in history in about 24 hours. So I guess the question I'm asking is, by 2015, when these current consoles have extended their lifespan as far as they can, will there even be a market for it? I'm not entirely certain. Tablet devices that can interface with computers and high-definition televisions themselves will probably be pretty widespread, pretty powerful able to run any kind of experience that a developer wants, and probably at less of a price point without being exclusive to any piece of hardware. You may end up with Nintendo offering a Nintendo console experience, and everything else pretty much being on your phone. Or anywhere. In the cloud, even. God, that scares me. Digital storage. So let me know what you think below about, you know, what Microsoft will do next and what Sony will do next, uh, what you think of my idea of switching in the Vita as a tablet controller rather than creating an entirely new system. It might save them some money and it might even move some units. Sony, are you listening? Uh, no, no, oh, they're too busy. Oh, they're already making... Oh, they're bankrupt! Wow, that happened fast. I'm just kidding. They're still around. Although for how much longer? Who knows? Sony's Gaikai service seems to be uh, set up as their exit strategy where they're able to license their exclusive content onto any device, even Windows. Even Windows devices. 
You may not see Sony exclusives in the future, which means there'd be no reason to build an exclusive piece of hardware now, would there? Not to mention that Sony is bleeding money at a ridiculous rate, to the point where they would have to sell off 80% of their assets, and that's hard assets, that means furniture and offices and shit like that, to actually be able to pay off their liabilities. That's that's not exactly good for a business, that's not a growing model when the Vita is selling about 50,000 units a week in North America. It's doing sub-GameCube numbers. It's selling worse than the Dreamcast. It's barely ahead of the... what was it? The Engage? I'm not making this up, folks. There's an excellent article called The Ten-Year Decline of Sony that goes into this in detail. And also, you can look up hardware sale charts if you feel so inclined. It's all true. Sony is not poised to create a PlayStation 4. I think their only option is to extend the life cycle of the PS3 and hope the Vita works in copying Nintendo. It may actually end up in a situation like uh, the 6th generation, where Nintendo's GameCube was technically more powerful than the PlayStation 2. All things considered, I think it's equal, and I think this race goes on. I think this fight goes on for another few years. As much as everybody hates it and wants new hardware, I don't think you're gonna get it for a while. And when you do get it, I don't think you're gonna be very happy with what it is. Sorry. Of course, you could always just shell out to get a decent gaming PC. They're not much more expensive than the high-end consoles themselves, folks. Do a little bit of research into that, maybe. And as always, like, comment, or subscribe, or dislike, or disagree, or post a rude comment, or post a really rude video response where you call me a jerk. But let's keep it civil, at least until somebody insults our favorite old 2D console. Sega does what Nintendo don't. Give me a break. Also, everybody knows the greatest console of all time was the Neo Geo because it had Metal Slug. Thank you very much.